Many times throughout your work in fifth grade, you will be asked to complete number line patterns such as these. Now, a lot of times these, uh, these patterns give students a lot of troubles, and there's a real simple way to figure them out if you're having trouble. Now, sometimes you'll recognize a pattern right off the bat, and that's great but other times they're not so easily recognizable. So let's pretend like you have no idea what this pattern could be and you're not sure how to figure it out. All you need to do is you need to choose two of the numbers that you do know. It can be any two of those numbers that you do know. For example, let's choose five and 23. Okay, now all I need to do is first of all I need to find the difference between 5 and 23. How do we find a difference? Right, we subtract. So I'm going to think 23 minus 5 equals what? and you should get 18. Now, part two of that is to count how many steps or jumps or spaces there are from your first number to your second number. I chose 5 and 23, but in between there's another number. So I'm actually making one, two steps to start at 5 and go to 23. I'm making two steps. So because I'm making two steps, I need to take my difference of 18 and I need to divide it by 2 because I made two steps. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now what that tells me is that I am changing by 9 each jump. And I have to think, okay, well, am I adding 9 or am I subtracting 9? Well, I'm starting at 5, my number is getting bigger, so I must be adding 9. Is 5 plus 9 14? Absolutely. If I do 14 plus 9, do I get 23? Yep, I do. That can tell me with pretty, a pretty good amount of confidence that my rule here is to add 9. So then I just continue the pattern, 23 plus 9, 32, 32 plus 9, 41, 41 plus 9, 50. And that's how I can figure out any of these types of problems. Let's do one more just to make sure. For example, this one here is not quite as easy, okay, because there's a space in the middle, or this one here. It doesn't really matter which one we do. Let's look at letter C. I can pick any two numbers, but I'm just going to choose 72 and 192. The first thing I need to do is I need to figure out, okay, what's the difference? So I'm going to take 192 and subtract 72. And when I do that, I believe I get 120. Okay, now I know that I'm changing by 120 from here to here. Then I have to count, okay, well, how many jumps am I making from the first number to the second number? Well, this will be one jump. This will be a second jump. So it's two moves to go from my first number to my second number. So that means I'm going to take my difference of 120, and I'm going to divide by 2. And if I do that, I get 60. Now my job is to check and see, does that seem right? If I do, well, first of all, actually, am I adding 60 or subtracting 60? Again, my numbers are getting larger, so I'm adding 60. If I do 12 plus 60, do I get 72? Yes, I do. If I do 72 plus 60, what do I get? 132. 
and then if I add 60 again, am I at 192? Yep, I am. So I think I'm doing this correctly. All I need to do to figure out the next two blanks is to add 60 here and add 60 again. And that's how you complete these number line patterns.